Welcome back to another episode of Genealogy TV. My name is Connie Knox, helping you go further, faster, and factually with your family research. Today, we are going to do a quick photo restoration. Now, I use the Adobe products, Photoshop and Bridge, a lot. But you can do this same strategy in any paint program that you have on your computer. Now, besides being a genealogist and in the broadcast industry, I am also a photographer, a wildlife photographer predominantly, nature photographer, um, but I do love photo restoration. And so this trick is going to help you turn your washed out photographs into something you can use. So in Bridge, this is Bridge, I'm using Bridge, um, I'm going to right click and I am going to open in Camera Raw. This is my favorite way to adjust images. I probably use this for 80% of my basic photo restoration. You can do an awful lot in this program. So what I'm going to do, we have this photograph here of these kids and uh, it is really washed out and hardly readable at all. Now over on this side we have exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, and so on. A lot of people try to adjust, whoops, I'm on the wrong slider there. A lot of people try and adjust the brightness right away. I prefer to start with contrast. I prefer to start with contrast because it brings back the details quickly. And so I'll crank up that contrast on a washed out photograph before I will do the exposure. Now Adobe will teach you that you should go from the top to the bottom. And that is fine, you can do that. And as we start to bring down the exposure after creating the contrast, we get a better feel for how much exposure we should pull down. We don't want to make it so dark that we lose a lot of the details in the shadows. So I think that's a little too dark. So I'm going to bring that back up just a little bit. And you know, this is kind of like art. It's all in the eye of the beholder, right? I'm going to take the black level here and I'm going to bring this up just a little bit so we, we don't lose all the shadows in the faces and stuff. Now, as this starts to come back to life, we start to see scratches and things. We're not going to go into how to repair all the scratches today, but what you can do if this becomes too orange for you is you can take the saturation or the vibrance. Vibrance is a similar, um, similar to saturation, and I prefer vibrance over saturation. You can pull that down a little bit if it's too orange for you. Now, I've got the contrast cranked up completely. Now, in some areas, the whites are really blown out, but I think that's okay. The shadows are still dark. Also, keep in mind when you're scanning photographs, scan them at the highest resolution you can. I prefer over 600 DPI. I might adjust this back up just a little bit on the exposure. And so that is a quick way to help bring back the life of an old photograph. Now, is it super, super sharp? No. Let's go over to sharpness. We have a variety of tools up here, but I'm not going to go through them all today. But we can bring back the sharpness a little bit more. When we do that, we do introduce a little bit of noise. There's noise reduction down here. And as we pull the noise back, uh, reduce the noise a little bit, it helps with some of the scratches and stuff. But that is a vast improvement over what we had. I'm going to click Done. And you can see the difference there from the before and after. So that is my quick and dirty trick on how to restore photographs. You can do that same contrast, brightness, sharpness adjustments, and uh, sometimes the black levels are available for you there as well. But really, contrast and brightness adjustments are the two that you really want to go after when trying to fix a washed out photograph. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Genealogy TV. If you like what you see, please uh, hit the like button and give me some comments below. Uh, tell me what photographs you're trying to repair. And also, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll get notified the next time we upload videos. Thanks for watching Genealogy TV.